All right, so I normally don't care about the packaging, but when I spend 80 bucks on a little six inch action figure, I kind of feel that a portion of that money is going towards the packaging. And that's why I'm frustrated with their packaging because it's just like, will you guys make up your mind, be consistent, have the same package on everything for I can kind of like put those like on the back of my shelf or the bottom of my shelf or when you come in here and you see all my Mezco boxes, they actually match and they look good as a set in the box. So when you do some of these things in the Christmas tin, and then you put some of them in that really nice window box, and then you put some of them in that little throwaway box, it doesn't make any sense. Like if the Christmas tin was for the exclusives, just for exclusives, that would be cool. If the really nice box was for like your regular standard issue toys, then that would be cool. And then the cheap throwaway box, well, when you give us that box, why don't you take 10 bucks off the price of the toy for we don't feel like we got ripped off. So we're gonna check out this Arsenal, Red Arrow, Speedy, whatever you wanna call him. He's basically the same figure as Green Arrow with a few extra parts. You have them both, display them together, and it's gonna look like Christmas. Let's check them out. <laughs> So I pulled out all the red that I had in the toy room. Basically, it's Speedy, Arsenal, Red Arrow. Call them what you want. They're all out here. First off, for accessories, he comes with a ton of hands, fisted hands. Um, these hands are like if he's like releasing the string. And then he basically has a hand to hold every arrow that he comes with. And he can hold his bow in either hand. So that's pretty good there. There's his like three arrows so that hand specifically is for that arrow and he comes with a kryptonite arrow but there's no kryptonite on it and another just a regular arrow and then I think this is like the grappling arrow when it's together here it is when it's apart he does come with the same stand that they normally do which I really like that stand but I pretty much use it on every figure so far so this time maybe I'll just try to do a little bit different pose and pose him without the arm on there. We'll go through all of these. Here's the one from the TV show, which I actually thought this one was pretty good. I do like this um, Red Arrow a lot. Like I, I kind of like the except for the, the, the shoes. That those don't make any sense to me. But I like how he doesn't have spandex on. I think that would have been a good option for him because their spandex really never works that well. When they do like a, kind of more like baggy clothes characters, I just think it translates better, at least on the toy. <clears throat> and over here, another red arrow. I, I mean, I think that's just a repaint of a green arrow. This old school one. Um, that's probably a Mattel one. This, I mean, the Mesco one is my favorite, but this one used to be. For one, this one has like tattoos, the hat, just real classic, cool stuff. I like the little pouches and stuff on there, the extra thing of arrows, really nice. I mean, they could have went the extra mile on this Mezco one, gave him a hat, or, or just give him some tattoos, like mix it up a little bit, do something a little different, you know, something that you haven't did before. Push the envelope, but why should you do that? Because this toy is only $80, so let's just stick to what you know and just keep doing that. This one's from the animated show, and that's just another one. So a few of these are pretty boring. I do like the most cold one um, the most. I am, they could have did a lot more with it, and I would have so liked it even more. So don't you ever waste one of these stands. Yes, you might want to put this guy in a different pose from time to time, but there's still something cool that you can do with these, especially if you have a red hood, and especially if you have this red hood, because these two together make an amazing team. Because you have to admit, Arsenal by himself, not really a big deal. You team him up with the red hood, now you have something worth bragging about. And you get to use this stand. So, couldn't put that thing back in the box. And that's okay, how so here he is side by side with the green arrow. So you can see they're basically the same body. Pretty much everything on this thing is the same. So I'm not gonna tell you what's the same. I'm gonna tell you what's different. First off, the jacket. The green arrow has a long jacket. Arsenal has a short jacket, which I think that's pretty cool. And then on the arms, Green Arrow has these little bands on here. And then Arsenal just has bare arms with, with nothing. So 
that's pretty much the difference and then the head of course is different and that's it same bow same arrows same harness same everything all right so here's this figure up close we'll take the hood off he does have that cool wire inside of his hood so you can pose that wherever you want um, they kind of like gave him like a weird suntan. It almost looks like the, like his hair, like the paint is like fading into his skin. Like like when girls put on makeup and they do a really bad job. Well, kind of looks something similar to that. So this guy, if he did have like a cool dragon tattoo on his arm, that, that would have been nice. Because he's got the, the sleeveless shirt. Um, if you're going to take these two toys, I mean it would have been cool to have one of them to have sleeves, one of them not to have sleeves. I, I like the black pants. I, I don't like that they both have black pants. Like it would have been cool if Green Hero had green pants or he had red pants. But they, I mean, they just, they look like they're going to Sadie Hawkins almost. They, they're just too similar. Like you, you could have did a little bit more changes and, and it would have made this toy a lot better. But that would require you guys going the extra mile. And why would you do that? I mean, heck, it's only an $80 figure. The articulation we're not going to go over because absolutely nothing on this thing is new. The arrows do come out in a bulk. So you can put all those extra single arrows in there. Or you can just slide this in there. And you can actually squeeze in a couple more arrows there if you want. They come with the same exact knife. Um, it's real loose in here. Like you tip it over. Uh, well, of course it's not going to fall out now. But normally you tip it over the knife will fall right out. So... Maybe I just pushed it in there right that time for once. But apparently, there you go, same knife, same everything. I really, I was actually really looking forward to this character. I mean, I, you know that they're going to redo a lot of their toys. You're kind of used to that, but you got the green arrow. You need a, a red hood or you need somebody. And this is the guy. We're not really going to have any villains, maybe... Death stroke. If he ever come, if he ever comes out, then these two can tag team him. But until that time comes, I'm gonna display him with my red hood. I didn't want to really mix regular action figures into my Mezco line, but it's not like they're ever gonna make any cool villains. So you might want to start doing something like that. Let's check out the Mezco, Mezco collection. It is definitely a love hate relationship. Love them just because these toys are freaking amazing, and I love these things to death. I also hate them because half of them look like they're wearing pajamas. They don't have good villains to go with them. And they'll probably never complete an actual team. So you just get single, random characters. And then when you get one that sells really well, well, go ahead and make three of the same character. But don't give us a villain to go with it. But I do love them. And at the same time, I do hate them. Kind of because they're 80 bucks. That might be part of the reason why. But there's a Mezco collection. Thanks for watching.